parents and Ms. Watkins for being responsive to meeting and listening to me and other parents about improving the literacy and instructional methods of our children in Gwinnett County Public Schools. I am a former Gwinnett County Public School teacher and the mom of Matthew, a fifth grader in this county from the Parkview Cluster. <clears throat> Matthew has dyslexia. Statistically, he is one in five. If you do the math, he's one of the 38,000 students in Gwinnett County Public Schools with dyslexia. And while I'm appreciative that our leadership has listened to some of our stories, I'm here today to respectfully push the board and Gwinnett County Public Schools to take additional steps that will actually improve literacy rates for all Gwinnett County Public students. As a former Gwinnett County teacher, I know that for the last 20 years, our county has used a method of instruction called balanced literacy. I had no idea that there was another way to teach literacy until my son Matthew was diagnosed with dyslexia and I began to research to see why he was failing to show measurable progress year after year. Imagine my surprise when I discovered it was due to the fact that our county was using a method of instruction not backed by science to have any measurable effect on the very students that need us to get it right. Even more shocking was that the very program we spend taxpayer dollars on, Fontes and Pinnell, according to a recent Ed report, failed to meet the standards for students K through five. And even worse, that very program, Fontes and Pinnell, that we use for all students to learn to read, even special ed, just recently publicly complained about having to change their methods of instruction for the 20% of students who struggle to learn to read like my one in five. Gwinnett County will never close the persuasive achievement gaps without changing how they teach reading to all students. Recent efforts to close this gap included purchasing 14 supplemental resources, only one of which is recommended by the State Dyslexia Handbook, which you all now have a copy of in your red folder. The plan is today, of, as of today is to keep doing what we have done for over 20 years in this county and then slap a side dose of, of phonics onto the side. My son is a product of over five years of balanced literacy that he received in both general and special education in Gwinnett County Public Schools. Where did all those flawed methods of instruction lead him? Well, in February of 2021 20, this year, he told his psychologist that his greatest goal in life was to learn to read. Imagine that, a fourth grader with normal intelligence was left dreaming of learning to read due to the instructional methods in this county that severely failed him. Why do we advocate for the science of reading? It's not merely phonics instruction. It's not not boring instruction, and it is way more than a notion. The science of reading refers to the pedagogy and practices proven by extensive research to teach children how to read. And research shows that the science of reading based instruction that 95% of students, including those with dyslexia, can be taught to read at or approaching grade level. Think of how that would transform our district, our community, and the dreams of our students. In sum, we respectfully push the board in Gwinnett County to, to use the current influx of money to train teachers in methods aligned with the science of reading and to purchase quality tier one curriculum aligned with science of reading to ensure that all our students can learn to read. Thank you very much.